MIT scientists just performed the most precise quantum experiment in history, and it definitely resolved a hundred-year-old debate between Einstein and Niels Bohr. The result proved Einstein was wrong about quantum mechanics. You probably heard that Einstein was a genius who revolutionized physics. That's true, but what you might not know is that Einstein spent decades fighting against quantum mechanics, refusing to accept that reality could be fundamentally random and observer-dependent. Einstein actually rejected quantum theory. He famously said God does not play dice with the universe because he could not accept quantum weirdness. While everyone celebrated his genius, he was losing the most important physics debate of his time. I have analyzed MIT's original research published in Physical Review Letters. This isn't sensationalized news. This is hard science from one of the world's top physics institutions. First, I'll explain the 1927 einstein bohr debate. Then I'll walk you through MIT's revolutionary experiments using individual atoms and single photons. Finally, I'll reveal what this means for how we understand reality. In 1927, Einstein argued that light particles create tiny forces when passing through slits. He believed you could detect this force while still observing wave interference, proving light is simultaneously particle and wave. Bohr countered with quantum mechanics, saying measurements destroy the wave pattern. You can't observe both properties at once. MIT created the ultimate test. They used individual atoms as slits, the smallest possible slits in the universe. They fired single photons at over 10,000 ultra-cold atoms arranged in a crystal pattern. The key innovation, they could adjust each atom's fuzziness to control how much path information the atom gathered about each photon. Every time an atom detected a photon's path, the wave interference disappeared. The more path information gathered, the less wave behavior observed. Even weirder, when one tries to measure which slit the light is traveling through, the light suddenly behaves as particles and the interference pattern disappears. Einstein's prediction that you could detect the particle path and keep the wave pattern completely wrong. Reality changes based on observation. When you measure quantum particles, you fundamentally alter what exists. The universe isn't just uncertain because we lack information. Uncertainty is built into reality itself. Einstein could not accept that observation changes reality. He spent his final decades trying to prove quantum mechanics wrong because the implications were too strange for him. But MIT's experiment provides different proof the universe operates on quantum principles that Einstein rejected. This confirmed we live in a reality where particles exist in multiple states until observed, where measurement changes what's real and where uncertainty isn't a bug in our understanding. It's a feature of existence. Einstein believed in a clockwork universe with predetermined outcomes. MIT just proved that universe does not exist. The universe does not just play dice, it is the dice. And we have now proven it with atomic level precision. The question that comes to my mind is, what does this mean to live in a reality where your observation literally changes what exists?